Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and I guess another unboxing here. I think I found the right package. Um, had a couple of these come in from Amazon. I believe this is the G-Shock Square that I bought to use as a giveaway item. So let's get this open. And I like these packages. Anyway, there we go. I bought this on the um, the Amazon Prime days, and it took about a month for it to arrive. So anyway, let's get it open. Box is a little banged up, uh, but that can be expected with the packaging they use. So yeah, that's the G-Shock, uh, the base model G-Shock Square. So, what does it say there? DW5600E. Not sure what that is about. I think that's who I bought it from. Or they were the seller on the Amazon store. I'm assuming this is a legit G-Shock. I had one of these a while ago. I ended up giving it to my brother-in-law, I think. See, I think it was 30, 35 bucks, something like that. I forgot how light these are. Um, the G-Shocks I've been wearing lately have the metal bezel on them. All right, let me get this on wrist and then we'll close out the video. If you haven't had a G-Shock yet, you know, pick one of these up. It, it's, it's hard to beat with the functionality and it'll last you, I think, at least 10 years with this battery. You can always replace the battery. I'm not sure what the battery life is on these. It tells you in here or not but regardless it's, it's a good watch for the money obviously you have the time the day the um, month and the date you have an alarm function which doesn't really work for me you can't hear that beeping when i'm sleeping then it has a countdown timer and then of course stopwatch yeah i don't know why casio does it they they switched the light and the start stop button between this one and then the um, the solar models. The high, I'll see a higher NG shocks. The buttons are reversed. So I already forgot which this one here. Yep. And then that one. Oh, that's the other thing. That button is recessed too on this model for some reason. I forgot about that. I don't know why that one is so much more recessed. Um, the other G shocks, all the buttons are the same uh, distance out from the case. Not recessed like that one. Let's try that again. Start, stop. Yeah, so you really gotta really gotta press it in there. Just feel the light there. I'll put a work in here. And there we go. Alright, let me get this on wrist and we'll close up the video. Just uh quick look at the Casio uh, G-Shock, the, the base model again, the DW, DW5600E, I'll show it to you here on my six and a half wrist, six and a half inch wrist with the 52 millimeter wristband, it technically does overhang my wrist with this, um, not really a lug to lug, but just the way the strap is built in, it's, it's almost an integrated strap really. So not a bad watch for 50, 40, 50, 30 bucks, whatever it is. I think they're around 40 bucks. There we go. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and it really does help me out a lot here with, uh, with this small channel. As always, thank you for your time, and thank you for watching.